Hello, uh, I'm Mr. Sonic Nevitz, and this is an unboxing of the new Excalibur Omnibus Volume 1 from Marvel. So let's get to it. So, uh, I've gotten three today, and I already filmed one. This should be the second one. Here's hoping it's done the same way. And it is foam, baby! I love foam. This stuff is the bomb. Yeah, yeah. Come on, omnibus. All right, Excalibur. Let's uh, where's the? Oh, there it is. See, sometimes it's hard to see this stuff. Come on. There you go. Come on, tape. There we go. Yeah, someone experienced did the packing on this one. <laughs> Here we go. It's nice because I also get some backing boards. I can reuse those. Alright, here we go. Boom. There's the I got the DM variant cover. Um because I, I liked it more. But yeah, this is the the Excalibur omnibus. Looks pretty good. Oh. Little hit there, but nothing too nuts. Well, let's get it open before anything else. Oh yeah, I also like how they do all the issues on the back for a lot of these classic omnibus from Marvel. Da -da -da -da. Come on. There we go. Now I've heard the binding on this omnibus is like a lot better than what we've been getting recently. So hopefully that's a trend, or a continued trend, you know, not just like an exception. Because Marvel, as you've seen from my other overviews, has been kind of dropping the ball on some of their most recent omnibus stuff, so. And as always, recycling's good and it's easy with this stuff. <laughs> okay. Here we go, let's get this dust jacket off. One at a time. Ugh. So yeah, there you can see the, there's the full dust jacket. Really colorful, I like that. That cover's awesome, just with the Union Jack right there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I also love Captain Britain's design. His, his design is great. I mean, that's his newer costume. His older costume's still pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's a small hit here though, nothing crazy. That's fine. And then up here, yeah. So no no damage like before, and yeah, the build looks awesome. So there's the front, there's the side, and there's the back. It's the one full image thing they sometimes do. Uh, I'm glad it's not just a black board. <laughs> because on, I mean, I guess they only do those on the older ones, like the Silver Age stuff. Do they do just the black board? Which I don't really mind, it's just it's cool when it's art. As always, let's see who it's printed by. Well, this is R.R. R. Donnelly, Asia Printing Solutions China. So, see, this is why it's, it's weird, you know? Because, like, sometimes they're awesome, like apparently this one is. And then other times, you know, you get, like, the small eye of the, of the Uncanny X-Men. So it's just, you know, it's weird. Ooh, that glue, though, that's, that's you can feel that one. Yeah, this, this uh, spine's already lifting from the back. Like, it it really wants to bend. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I, I, it's kind of hard to... Let me lift this up and I'll show you. So you can already see that eye. Look at that eye. That's the eye you want. Like that. So, you know, I finally can show you. That's the, that's the eye that a lot of people want. Because you can see if I were to... You know, if you read it like this, and you're putting it down, how flat these pages open. You know, this is what people really like. Another way you can tell about the eye is if you open it this way and it forms like a seven so here let me get some pages out see how it bends like this it comes up and then makes that kind of like the right angle that's another thing you want to see yeah so see if you can see here it makes that double page spread you can see the entire thing that's pretty sick yeah I like that Ooh, yeah nice nice omnibus this is awesome <laughs> well, that's a great cover but yeah, this is a, 
what I've heard, what I've heard, and what I've seen. So people who got theirs before mine. That's another thing. Sorry, these have taken so long. I actually have to get the books to do them, and uh, it's been two weeks, you know. So, because you know, with everything going on, you know, USPS is uh, really behind on stuff. I have a buddy who works for them, and he just says, "Yeah, not much you can do. You just gotta wait." But yeah, I'm very happy with this. No dings or nothing, nothing of that nature. Just a solid book. This is awesome. Um, as always, contents of this will be in the description if you want to double check, you know, before you buy. Uh, it's another thing. Also, as an aside, if anyone wants to, I mean, I don't have everything, but if maybe there's a book you're looking forward to, or not looking forward to that has come out and you want to double check the solicitations or something, you know, if something off, seems off to you, uh, leave a comment and I can, if I have it, I'll look through and I'll look at the Indica and I'll tell you what's in it because. Again, nothing, nothing online is perfect when it comes to this stuff. I wish it was, but it's not. But yeah, that's that's sick. And, uh, yeah, Excalibur, I believe, is the, the, the super British version of the X-Men. Again, I haven't read this stuff, really. Uh, I only know them from, like, assimilation of knowledge, you know. Um, and again, I the only one I really know is Captain Britain. And if, I mean, there's, like, Kitty Pride and Night, uh, Nightcrawler, but, like, I don't know those two. Captain Britain's like super obvious though, <laughs> you gotta know that guy. But anyways, this has been a uh, overview and unboxing of the uh, Marvel Excalibur on this volume one and it's pretty awesome too. Man, two for two today. I'm really happy with this and thank you for watching.